This is a quick tutorial on how to get uh, a color gradient for depth for water. It's something I just kind of came up with uh, a more fun technique than usual. So let's go over it pretty quickly. So we'll start with a regular plane just scaled up and make the material. I'm going to jump ahead real quick. So this is pretty traditional what someone would set up. Uh, you've got your fade distance. Uh, I like to put a power function on the opacity and then you lerp between color one and color two and you get something that looks like this. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so that's pretty much what everyone does. And then um, what I end up liking to do is I want to get more color uh, variation in here. So you might get fancy and do something like this, which uh, would give a better result. So what I'm doing here is just lerping between two sets of lerps. So here I'm crushing down the bottom half of the depth fade and chopping off the top half and putting those back together here. So if you would think that this is 0 to 0 0.5 on the depth fade and this is 0 0.5 to 1 on the depth fade, I bring them back here with that it's not super important that you understand the math here, but to say that this at least gives you the result that it's kind of this nicer, elegant uh, color blending. But what I want to do is do something even better than that. You can create something called miscellaneous color curve, C curve, linear color, select, and we'll just call this, yeah, sure, new curve. And you get something like this. We can put any color we want in here tend to like to do uh, RGB. Okay, so you have a color curve. So a color curve is just um, uh, it's just the information and a material can't read that. So you need to put it into a curve atlas. So that would be a curve atlas. So this is basically going to render down the curve to a something that the material can read. So basically bring in the new curve and that curve is new curve here. And then basically you could you could save room by just making this super short. And so it's basically gonna render a curve across two pixels. And we can use this curve to basically replace all this, which isn't very fun. Come back to our curve. Now we'll say, if you type in curve, curve, atlas, row, whatever that says, call this curve with two Vs because that's the way I roll. <laughs> You're not even gonna stop and fix. No, I'm not gonna stop and fix it. All right, uh, so this is all you have to really do is you set the curves there and now I'm gonna bring it in here and totally assume everything goes according to plan. Let's see what we got. Yeah, so basically you now have a color curve right here, which we can use to finely tune the, uh, the, the, the water. So if you want, the only thing that's a little tricky is you have to put a, a key on all of them for that to show up. But nevertheless, you can then uh, come in here, you know, make it whatever you want. So like this is takes a lot of tuning. Like I don't assume that this is the quick part. It actually uh, takes kind of a bit of time to get these right and to see how it feels for you. Uh, oh, anyway, this looks hideous, but that's OK. The point is it works. And uh, as a last a uh, little bit. Um, I can show you quickly what I use for um, this is the sort of the working version of that where it also has a stencil cutout and so what that means is if I apply this one put that on here so this one's been tuned a little bit closer uh, if I would come over to the boat which there's really no great solution by the way for uh, for hiding the water inside a boat. There's only like work solutions that work for your need. Custom render pass stencil 10, which is what I put on it. And so you can cut out a translucent material um, and get your boats so they're not like always having water in the bottom. But uh, that is a, another topic to cover, like how to get custom. But you can look for that if you needed to get that. It's kind of annoying to search online to find custom stencils. But uh, that's how I prefer, for my game anyway, to cut out water out of a boat. And you can play with, um, play with those curves. Hope that helps.